My heartfelt namaskars to all. The concept of one nation and one election being brought back by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi is truly applaudable. And we as Janasena, we truly support this initiative. And the reason being is, Modi ji is trying to revive the old age practice or process where our founding fathers had initiated. In 1951-52 general elections and 1957 and 1962 and 67, both parliament and state assemblies elections were held together. The tradition was broken due to premature dissolution of legislative assemblies and the fall of governments. And here again Modi ji, after so many decades, he is trying to revive that old age process. And which is very need of the, it's need of the, and need of the nation. And even this is not, and Modi ji is trying to bring back the suggestions or uh, uh, committee suggestions by uh, law commission under the, uh, uh, headed by Sri B.P. Jeevan Reddy. And also election 1983, the election commission also had suggested a system should be made where Lok Sabha and state elections should be held uh, simultaneously. Even Justice uh, B.P. Jeevan Reddy also had said the same thing in 1919. 1999 in his report, we should go back to Lok Sabha and Assembly uh, elections as uh, simultaneous. And he also had proposed the same idea. And on 26th November 2020 in Constitution Day, Modi ji has emphasized one more time, people and the entire nation should think about one nation and one, one election. And we, we as Janasena, we firmly believe why it should be one nation and one election. A lot, a lot of other countries like South Africa and Indonesia and a lot of other countries, I think maybe South Africa, South Africa, Sweden also, I think. All these countries, a lot of other countries also doing uh, one, uh, one election and uh, one nation and one election theory being, uh, being practiced all over. Only we couldn't continue the tradition and Modi is trying to revive that old age tradition and we as Janasena, we properly support it. And the reasons being, when uh, first general election parliament uh, casted almost, uh, uh, they say, 11 crores, that's what uh, they say. Uh, by the time it came to parliament elections in 2014, it became uh, 30,000 crores. And by the time it reached uh, 2019, it became 60,000 crores. So the expenditure is going on doubling, I mean doubling, we don't know how many hundreds of times, in multiple, multiples it's increasing. And exponentially it is increasing, uh, the cost of electionary process. And if it happens one one time election in uh, every five years for all uh, assemblies and parliament together, I think that would curb down a great expenditure on the country's uh, ex exchequer. That is one major thing. And majorly on the security forces, the burden will be lessened. And where they could focus on a nation security, then uh, be, uh, being uh, doing duties for the state elections or where, wherever it is happening. And a major part of the nation is always one major. Uh, uh, blow is for the nation, uh, grow, economic uh, growth is, is about constantly part of the nation is always in you know, uh, election mode. And we are not able to create, you know, focus on uh, whatever is needed for the youth and you know, for the development or for the economic prosperity. Instead of thinking on these issues, instead of fighting against poverty, instead of thinking all this, we are talking about okay, who's going to win in Karnataka, who's going to win in uh, Kerala. And this debate is diverting from the main issues. I think if you happen uh, one nation, one election, I think this would be curbed and the rest of the time we could focus on uh, development and uh, poverty and employment and all these issues. That is one. And also for common people, this really brings down uh, a lot of annoyance or uh, maybe for as a common man, uh, we can see a lot of people when we move around for relationating process, really a lot of common people really lot, uh, do suffer a lot. And especially election means uh, electioneering uh, when, when you go for it. When election means, it means traffic, it means uh, route diversion, it means uh, election rallies, public meetings and arrival of VIPs and whatnot. Every time a part of a uh, nation is going through this process and public are really, uh, it isn't annoying for them. And I think we should, we can really curb it down or if it happens only once in five years for the entire nation. This is one. And also, if uh, for every state elections or every state where the issue is about religion, caste, normally in elections, these, these things would uh, crop up like uh, communal disharmony or uh, religion, re region, it could be religion, it could be caste. And all these issues would be uh, flared up or something. I think if you have one-time election for the entire nation, I think this will almost it will be minimized to a great extent, which we, Janasena, we believe in that. And we, as a party, 
we are in 100% support and wholehearted support for Modi ji's proposal of one nation and one election. We are with Modi ji in this. Jai Hind.